And a good example of that is going passwordless. You know, passwords were a great invention back in 1961, but so many businesses today are still reliant upon this. And they've got no other technology that was invented in 1961. You know, the fax and the telex were killed a long time ago, but so many businesses are still so reliant on passwords. So one of the things we love to do is say, let's go passwordless. Let's get rid of passwords completely and modernize the way we authenticate. And um, removing passwords removes our single biggest risk because the number one way hackers get into our environment is compromised credentials. So that's one example of many things we can do to modernize the way we work. Okay, so make sure I caught this. Okay, so passwords are the number one way they get in there. Yep. And so if you don't have 2FA on, if you don't have, you know, um, even you have to walk us through that because I think people really got to capture this, right? So one sure. thing to say like, oh, well, I mean, I have a password, then it has to send to my phone to get a notification and then I have to click on the notification there or I have to, or I have to put in a 2FA authentication, right? Yeah. Even after, I, you know, so, so break down like where that breaks down so people really get this, like sure. that you, need, you really need to get a whole new system. You, you don't actually, that's the beauty about it. So the best way to explain it is if you think about this, the iPhone, right? We've been probably using Face ID on the iPhone for a few years, okay? So your, your iPhone will scan your face, takes about 300,000 uh, data points from your face, and it will say, this is Brett Schwartz. This is the real Brett. And it's not a photograph or a hologram, it's the real Brett. So now you're signed into the iOS operating system, right? The operating system of the device. You've probably also got a bunch of apps on the device that are downloaded from Apple. They're trusted apps. So you can also get what's known as single sign-on. So you go from biometrically signing onto the device, now getting single sign-on to those apps. So you can open those apps without typing a password. But if you try and use something secure, like your bank account, or something that, that requires an extra factor, you would then get a 2FA request, a two-factor authentication request. Now, there's a set of rules that tie those things together to say, if this is the real Brett, and he's coming in from a known network in his normal country, and he's behaving the normal way, don't annoy him with additional prompts and, and, and security requests. But if it looks like this is actually a Linux box and a hacker coming in from Moscow, or North Korea, let's ask for some more prompts. So what we're trying to do is create a lot of friction in the system if something looks dodgy and minimize the friction if it looks like it's legit. 